So Ted Loader from the Disclosure Project and from from Seas Energy. Yeah. Oh, you're from you're you're from U of H today, though, right? Yeah, University of New Hampshire. Right? I'll, so I'll focus sort of on my, your badge there for a professional uh, thing here. Yeah, people have been asking me questions about mine. <laughs> yeah. So how's the conference going so far? Good as always. I, this is my fourth uh, fourth time being here. Fourth or fifth, I'm not too sure. This is kind of turning into like the alma mater for weird science stuff. You know? <laughs> And while well, I interviewed Bonnie yeah. Dunbar, which is cool, I got an interview with Eric Davis and <coughs> yes. Martin Tymar, so. Good, good. Oh, was that, was that Bonnie right there? Oh. I don't know. Don't know. Oh. Oh, maybe it was. <laughs> Sorry, Bonnie. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't recognize you. Bonnie, uh, who? Oh, former astronaut, Bonnie Dunbar. Okay. So. Um, yeah, so things have gone pretty good this year. So, so you're here for the whole conference. Um, uh, I spoke with Gary Boss. You know, oh, Gary? awesome, yeah. Uh, the other day, he gave me a call the other night and uh, said he's going to be here later on in the week and uh, hoping to get together with Rich Holden and, and crew yeah, later, on, be, later on in the week. Do you know any? It'll be interesting you, to you know finish up the week meeting with Holden after yeah, this. Uh, any, any knowledge or plans for that yet? Um, you know, I actually, Richard is coming back on the 16th, so we just have to kind of hold tight until he gets back Where in town. He? I think he's you know? speaking at the Consciousness Expo out in Los Angeles. So, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, excellent. Well, it's, uh, I'm looking so forward to sitting down. Now, you're this year as a guest, right? You're not presenting anything this I'm year? I'm not presenting this year, no. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm also a member of the Space Technology uh, uh, Space uh, Colonization Technical Committee. Oh, okay. The AIAA, and we have meetings last night, and we'll meet tonight again for a few hours. Well, in terms of disclosure stuff, do you think... Um, do you think that this is a conference that will start to address some of that in the future? It doesn't look like there's a ton this year. But no, there, is, there isn't really. Uh, several people kind of slip things into their talks about either anti-gravity technology or UFOs or whatever else. Paul Muir, it's one of the people that's done that. I've done that uh, when I've talked uh, here. I gave a paper a few years ago, which is on our websites, about, about things like that. Oh, so uh, I, and, you know, it's 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 pretty much uh, a, a group of engineers and, and, and NASA scientists, as you know. But pretty conservative. A pretty conservative, pretty much traditional things. But what we see is that, particularly Paul Murad and Tony Robertson and a few others, have have made an effort to bring in some of the more esoteric. They're bridging stuff. the gap. Bridging yeah, the, the gap. stuff that's going to actually be where our space program is, ten to thirty years from now. I hope. It should be here. It should be next year, but it's not going to happen. Too many things are in the pipeline to do business as usual.